Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this one I wanted to talk about something that I feel is kinda going under the radar in this game and is hurting the game in the long run, especially in the setting of getting new players to play this game and that is the prevalence and the dominance of seasonal uniforms in the current meta and how you obtain them. Now, as we all know, the seasonal uniforms are generally really powerful upgrades for certain heroes like Luna Snow, Magneto, Ghost Rider, but as well as some supports that are not supports without their seasonal uniforms. Take a look at Mysterio, for example, like if you s get see his previous uniform, he doesn't have a support buff. He's not a support in this previous uniform, but his seasonal uniform, which you can only get once a year, does have a great support buff for super villain allies. Same goes for characters like Morgan Le Fay, for example. This is her only uniform, she doesn't have alternative, it's a paywall uniform, you can only get her uh, this uniform once a year, and she also has an insane support buff for universal type allies that can be used in both PvE and PvP. Now, Recently, a friend of mine asked me, who grew up watching X-Men movies, he wanted to start to play this game and he asked me, how much money do I need to spend to unlock characters like Cyclops, Wolverine, Magneto, Rogue, and play them at the highest level possible with all the game modes? And do you know what my answer was? You can't spend money. He was shocked when I revealed that he cannot spend money, but he, this is the reason. Like... If you take a look at the Rise of the X-Men Deluxe Pack, sure, you can buy it for 6,600 crystals and unlock Magneto, but he'll be useless without his seasonal uniform that you have to wait next winter to buy it. And Rogue, she'll be useless without her seasonal uniforms that you also have to wait until next winter to buy it. And Storm, well, she's kind of useless anyway in her seasonal uniform, but it's... She's still meta for some days of ABX and ABL. So by buying this whole deluxe pack, you buy it for Wolverine and you buy it for Jean Grey. Like, and the Wolverine you can get free, but upgrading these characters only lets you play Wolverine and Jean Grey. He is just a support. So three out of these characters need to wait a whole season, once a year, for new players to be able to play them. And when I told him that he cannot spend money and that there is no way to get these uniforms for Magneto and Rogue and Storm, he wanted. He said that he doesn't want to play this game. And he, Marvel Future Fight just hurt itself for another player who wanted to spend money, but the uh, unobtainability of this uniform prevented my friend to start to play this game. Now, the other problem I have with these uniforms is they're all extremely powerful. So let me just, sh which, don't get me wrong, they should be, but what I'm saying is that they should have a viable alternative, which most of them do not have, like Magneto being a Blast supervillain. His only alternative now is... Uh, Ebony Mov in his newest Space Hitler uniform, and he is worse than Magneto. So Magneto was in her his seasonal uniform was meta in for all, almost over a year in all kinds of PVE content, and only now he's getting an alternative in the form of Space Hitler Ebony Mov. But Ebony Mov is not as strong as Magneto even a year later. Well, he had an alternative before in as in uh, Cyclops with his Blast Supervillain uniform, but that's useless. Like, he cannot even come close to the Magneto's power. So let me just show you some graphs I made for ABX and ABL meta, and maybe you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about and what impact these uniforms have on the game. So here we are at the graph for Alliance Battle Extreme meta and as you can see for most of the restrictions days there is a prevalence of seasonal uniforms. So if you take a look, these are all the seasonal uniforms that are currently being used in the Alliance Battle Extreme meta and for Blast Supervillain you have to use Magneto and Mysterio as a support. Mysterio does not have an alternative. 
Magneto does have it in the form of Space Hitler Abonimov. Then you have Luna Snow and White Fox for No Restrictions Days, as well as Speed Superhero Days. For Universal Superhero, you have Ghost Rider. For Blast Male characters, you again have to use Magneto and uh, Mysterio. For Universal Supervillain, you have to use Morgan Le Fay, and she does not have an alternative. And for Supervillain Females and Speed Supervillains, you have to use Black Cat and Sin, which are both seasonal uniforms. Now, if we go one step further and look at the ABL meta and the distribution of the seasonal uniforms here is even more insane. Just look at this. This is insane. Like you have, for No Restrictions Day, you have Phil Carlson. For uh, you have, in most of the days, you have White Fox, you have Luna Snow. And then if you look, take a look at the X-Men superhero female, you have two seasonal uniforms, Rogue and uh, Storm. For Blast Male Supervillain, again, you have to use Magneto and Mysterio. For Universal Female, you again have to use Morgan Le Fay. Supervillain, uh, Alien, you have to use Thanos. Well, he has an alternative with Loki, but some of them do not have alternative like uh, Morgan Le Fay here or Rogue here. So uh, I wanted, just wanted to make a point about how <laughs> dominant these uniforms are in the meta and I do not mind them being powerful but they need to have an alternative like okay Luna Snow does have an alternative in the form of Gwenpool for example but characters like Storm and uh, Magneto and Rogue, Morgan Le Fay, they do not have an alternative. So as you could have seen from the previous graphs, these seasonal uniforms are extremely dominant in modes like ABX and ABL, but not only that, they are also extremely powerful in modes like World Boss Legend and GBR. And uh, them being seasonals and time-gated between April Fools and Summer Event, Winter Event, Halloween, they are, in my opinion at least, really, really hurting the game and throwing new players away who want to start playing this game and want to spend money to get their favorite characters to the maximum level possible. Like a friend of mine who doesn't want to start playing this game because he has to wait almost a year to get Magneto's uniform and the Rogue's uniform. So my suggestion, and this probably won't happen, but it's a really elegant solution. Why not, instead of having rewards like I don't know, like a 10 million go a 10 million points, like for six star Uru. Why not introduce a chest similar to this one, but instead of these collection tokens, you get seasonal tokens. So, and you can even distribute them for certain days. Like, for example, here at the Speed Superhero, you can get a seasonal chest which gives tokens for Halloween uniforms. Then here at the combat supervillain you can get a seasonal chest which gives april fools for example then here at no restrictions days you can get summer event tokens and for example here you can get winter event tokens and then it cycles so it doesn't have to be a large amount of tokens like 10 20 30 tokens it can be something small like one to two tokens so that players can build their characters for these modes push for the higher scores and eventually get uniforms they missed out for their favorite characters and start building their favorite characters. So not only would players then be motivated more to play modes and push for higher scores in modes like ABX and ABL, and it doesn't have to be ABX and ABL. They can introduce a new game mode similar to this, and they have already announced some wave modes, or I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Why not introduce seasonal uniform chest. This is a nine-year-old game and there is simply no reason to time gating these extremely powerful uniforms between for just time events and it, I really really think that it is hurting the game. Like if you if you take a, take a look at the revolution like please like who is excited that can hit four million points? Who is excited for 75 Titan components? But look at this. I have almost 50,000 50, sorry for shouting. I have almost 50,000 uh, uh, Titan component packs. Like look, 60,000 essence of dimension. Like I'm not excited for getting these rewards, but if they 
for example, at 8 million instead of this garbage chest, well, you can get all these blessings, but most of the times you get one of these. Why not introduce a seasonal uniform chest? I would be more motivated to build characters and forge CTPs and that if I could get like a seasonal uniform chest. So I don't know, man. I, I, I really dislike the power level of seasonal uniforms and time gating. I, I really, I do not have problem with the power level as much as I have problem with time gating stuff in a nine year old game. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want, you can join uh, my newly formed Discord for the community. Come hang out. We can talk about Marvel Future Fight and other stuff. And if not, consider leaving a like or subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.